to grow up to get some turndown service in here. Jimmy Quibb, he is a punk rock singer. Punk rock star to you. Repeated trauma, self-cutting, fever, arthralgia, hyperinflated chest, fatigue, anemia, blood in the stool and urine. I've died and gone to diagnostic heaven. His blood results show booze, cocaine, amphetamines, opiates. The only mystery here is how he made it to be 38. I'm 28. And he lies. And he's a pain in the ass. Hey, come on. <laughs> Wrap him up. I'll take him to go. Ah! Hey! He won't let us finish prepping him for the biopsy. Try the other arm. The problem's not the arm, it's the entire patient. Hi. Let you check his chest. Let you do anything except check that arm. He wallpapered himself with nicotine patches. Real rebellion has a point. It's not just juvenile and purposeless. Maybe purposelessness is my purpose. Mission accomplished. Amber, it's not the patches. It's got blood clots moving through his body. Means. I was wrong. Oh. He has schistocytes in his blood smear, which means DIC is causing the clotting. What's causing the DIC? Drug impurities. You lost your round. New symptom, new round. This has to be drug related. This is how doctors kill patients by seeing the stereotype. Drug instead addicts of the use drugs as a stereotype. Drugs are bad as a stereotype. Losers lose is malaria. He hasn't left the country in years. Malaria is relapsing, recurring. For all we know, he could have been sick for years. It explains not just the DIC and the bleeding, but the tiredness, fever, <laughs> everything we attributed to drugs. Oh yeah, it's much more likely that this ass punk rocker was exposed to malaria than drugs? If you were always right, then you wouldn't have just been wrong, or let the patient mainline nicotine, or ravaged my anatomical model, which Grandma House bought me when I aced my MCATs. A uh, pharmaceutical rep left that here on Tuesday. Grandma does some part-time work. The rep was a 30-something babe. Thank you. I got her hips. I hear him. Neither sleet, nor mail, nor dread of night. Ha! <laughs> Malaria's not contagious. Children, I feed you. Good night. And I'm off! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one of you guys sat my powers? Is it you? Did you take my powers? <laughs> Maybe it was you. Well, no matter. See, I'm feeling stronger already. <sighs> it's OK. It's OK. He's OK. Respiration's good. Pulse are solid. We need a lot of nurses in here. So you're not going to tell me who sells you drugs? What does it matter? You're dying, does that matter? Not really. <sighs> I'm not an adult. I never wanted to be. So if the choice is running out the clock with a walker and a bad pan. You don't regret anything. Oh, well, there's a lot of drugs. A lot of drinking. A lot of fights. I regret everything else. <laughs> you hate me.
means you have no regrets. <laughs> Uh, still can't find the drug source, but I don't think that's the problem. The diamond caporal isn't working, and Quid volunteers at a home for abandoned kids. Why are you telling me this? Because his bass player told me. Is it medically relevant? I don't know. Well, then why are you... Stop playing games and do your job. Plain old measles. Constant exposure from hanging out with Oliver Twist in his lot. I assume he's been vaccinated. The patient's immune system was shredded with years of drugs. Early markers of rash and fever would have been lost in a druggie. His immune system overreacted. That's why his body went haywire. It's clever. You're not doing a biopsy without neurological symptoms. If I'm right, the virus is in his brain. Wrong course of treatment could be his last course. I need a neurological... He kept swallowing. Could be neurological, could be a complex partial seizure. What did it look like? Good God, woman. How much more proof do you need? If you can induce a seizure, you can have your biopsy. We're gonna use flashing lights. Noxious stimulation, it'll irritate your brain. If there's damage to your neurons, it'll trigger a, a seizure that we, we can... I got something much more noxious. It's not as commonly used, but sound can be just as big an irritant. Now, remind me of your influences here. I'm gonna say Thelonious Monk, and the sound a trash compactor makes when you crawl inside it. I don't do it for you, I do it for me. What do you think? Seizing or dancing? Seizing. Playing the B side is even worse. Schedule an OR for the biopsy. See you in the lecture hall. You're gonna have to grow old after all. You've got measles. We're blasting you with corticosteroids. What's wrong with you? I got fired. Well, what are you doing here? I'm trying not to care. Yeah. That's not easy. <laughs> 